In this video, we'll find the oxidation numbers for Fe2CO33. That's iron 3 carbonate. So iron 3 carbonate, that's a neutral compound. We don't have a plus or a minus up here like we would with ions. If it's a neutral compound, all those oxidation numbers, they've got to add up to zero. So that's going to be really helpful for us to use when we try to figure out the oxidation number on the iron here. So iron, we don't know. That can have different oxidation states. But CO3, that's a polyatomic ion. And we can look that up on a table of common polyatomic ions. Or you might have memorized that the charge for it is 2 minus. Because with ions, the oxidation numbers, they add up to the charge on the ion. So let's bring this over here, our polyatomic ion table. And we're looking for carbonate, which is actually right here. CO3, 2 minus. So the ionic charge is 2 minus. That means that the oxidation number on this entire carbonate ion, that's going to be minus 2. We write the minus in front of our oxidation numbers. OK, let's get rid of this. So we have our minus 2 here. 3 times minus 2, that's minus 6. So because we want it to add up to 0, this here has to be a positive 6. So 2 times something gives us positive 6. 2 times positive 3, that'll give us a plus 6. So the oxidation number on the iron is plus 3. Let's clean this up a bit. We could also do this algebraically. If we didn't know the iron, we could say iron's x, and we have two of them, plus we have the minus 2 for the carbonate, and we have three of those. So all that has to equal 0. So 2x plus that negative 6 equals 0. 2x equals 6. And then x is going to equal 3, or plus 3, which is the same thing we got before. So that's the oxidation number for the iron in iron 3 carbonate. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.